primer problema the first problem that we were fue, discussing in the group was uh, uh, regarding de, 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 or trying to identify uh, we had two points of view really one what was uh, worded in English and then when we were discussing the translation well we had different points of view so we had to choose among the different alternatives what we were going to work on as uh, you can see on screen one of the main issues we discussed was how to uh, involve the corporate, the private sector, the manufacturers or the companies that work with ICT in education, and especially when it comes to education in the more underserved uh, sectors of society. Within the group, we identified some alternatives, the importance of uh, establishing strategic strategic alliances, working with different organizations, the importance of the organizations from civil society and the society as a whole. We are convinced that this could be a win-win situation, both for the corporations and the population as well, especially for the population. Especially, we were commenting on one of the proposals regarding uh, the bringing into the labor market of young people. We usually uh, speak about people that don't work or don't study, they're not doing anything, maybe age ranges 15 to 25, and they have really a hard time to think of, a, of an action plan or, or think of uh, their lives in the long term and come into society. So we want to know what companies, what IT companies have to offer in this sense. There was one specific example that was mentioned in our group a company that has developed somehow a, a specific action plan where they have different MOs, not only working IT issues, but they also work on human development. They need to work on virtual spaces, but of course we also need that human contact, where the role of these organizations, the role of the civil society organizations and the population is to, it is fundamental, they play a fundamental role. That is part of our proposal, all the technological issues, of course, have to be made available, but not only having multimedia rooms and multimedia labs, but also what technology can uh, support in order to prevent students from dropping out, which is one of the biggest problems we have. Mobile technology, the social networks as well can help. And we were mentioning that into the future, it could be a possibility. Maybe within the tech camp, we can uh, establish this network that could maybe encourage the private sector and corporations to become involved.